How's it going, guys? Uh, I'm Irant. Now, I know what y'all might be thinking. Jesus Christ, Irant, you do not look like yourself. To which I say, Well, no fucking shit. Every time I talk, there's a... There's a fair amount of pain in my lower, in my lower jaw right here, and it kind of hurts like a bitch sometimes. The reason for that is obviously I just got my wisdom teeth out. I got them out fairly early compared to other people. Because if I didn't get them out in about two years, they'd be trying to fucking get out themselves, and it would have hurt even more. Wisdom teeth are like the, the stupidest fucking part of the body. They do nothing to help you. All they do is just inflict pain on you. Now scientists are saying, uh, because of evolution, uh, a lot of humans these days are not being, uh, being born with wisdom teeth. It's becoming more common. Because either A, evolution is evolving humans to no longer have these painful teeth, or two, God is finally getting a fucking brain and realizing why the fuck am I putting these hurtful teeth into people's mouths? God can be a real fucking idiot, can't he? He made like 70% of the Earth's surface water that we can't even fucking drink. Sorry if I seem really livid today, just a, this fucking pain. But I do have beliefs in this channel and I want to try and meet a quota of at least one video per week, so... So I gotta do this. Well, I guess I'll just fucking tell you guys a story of getting my wisdom teeth out. So I think of myself as a veteran when it comes to surgery in my mouth. Because getting these wisdom teeth out, that was the fourth time that I'd been into a dentist to have surgery done on my teeth. The other three times were to have teeth pulled. Two each time. Meaning I've had six teeth pulled. And if you count the wisdom teeth, that's ten. So for those of you who have not gotten your wisdom teeth out before, I'm going to explain the process to you. In the morning before you go to the dentist, they give you a shit ton of drugs. They get you impaired as fuck. I took seven pills that morning. I don't think I've ever been more fucked up in my entire life. Not really mentally, but more in cognitive functionality. Like you can't stand. So after you take the pills and you wait a little bit, uh, you, you go into the surgery room, or whatever the fuck it's called. They give you a shot in your arm, and then they put a gas mask on your nose. It puts you in this weird world where you're in between being asleep and being awake. And it's the weirdest fucking feeling. You are relaxed as shit. I was so relaxed that I never wanted the surgery to end. Like, it was so soothing and relaxing. It's... It's undescribable. And when the surgery was done, I was sad. Whatever fucking drugs they give you, it fucking works. Like, looking back on it, the surgery was by far the best part of the day. Because at the beginning of the day, you worried about the surgery. During the surgery, you're fine, you're mellow. After the surgery, you have to deal with your mouth being fucking frozen for the rest of the day. So if you're worried about the surgery, don't be. It is by far going to be the best part of your day. Because after the surgery, I got home and I laid down in a puddle of blood. Literally, I was in my bed for three hours coughing up blood. It was not fun. There were times where I nearly choked on my own blood. The towel that I was laying on was about one third completely covered in dark black blood. Now, unfortunately, the towel has been thrown away since then, so I do not have it on me. But here is a Photoshop rendition that I have created. See, before I bled on the towel, it looks like a KKK member. After I bled on the towel, it looks like a KKK member after it got the shit beaten out of it that it deserves. And then I continued to bleed for about another two hours after that. And then I just had to deal with my mouth being frozen. I've had my mouth frozen five times in my life. It is not fun. It's extremely hard to eat. It's even harder to fucking drink. And I know what you're thinking. Why don't you just use a fucking straw? Guess what, motherfucker? You fucking can't! I have no fucking idea why they say that you're not allowed to use straws. Like, wouldn't it make everything so much easier? But no, you gotta sip it out of a fucking bottle and hope that it doesn't fucking drip down 
all through your body. <laughs> Such a shit day. Such a shit day. But in the end, it's all over now. I'm so fucking happy I got it over with. And make sure you talk to your orthodontist about getting your wisdom teeth out. Because if it's too late, they're gonna pop out by themselves and it's gonna hurt like a bitch. Also, after you get your wisdom teeth out, make sure you follow the guidelines of your dentist. Because if you don't, you get an infection in there. And holy fuck, you don't know pain until you had an infection in your mouth. Did I mention the surgery cost $2,016? That 20 minute surgery cost the same as a used car. I think I'm gonna end this video soon because the more I talk, the more it fucking hurts my mouth. Oh. What the fuck does it hurt so much when you fucking bend over? Like, is it because like the blood is rushing to your head or something? But I've noticed every time I bend over, there is an immense amount of pain in my cheeks. Like the most pain I get from my cheeks is when I bend over. I got no fucking clue why or how that is. Fucking kill me. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna wrap this up now. I don't know why I was wrapping it around a towel the whole fucking time. Like this is, this is way better. Uh... And, and if you're looking for the video uh, of me like acting all fucked up, after I left the dentist because of, uh, because of the drugs that they gave me. Uh, it doesn't exist. It does not exist. Because I don't know if it's because I've done it so many times or because of my age. Because after I leave, like, mentally I'm perfectly fine. I'm not fucked up at all. 